For more than 40 years, a Vietnam veteran says he's been suffering because of something he didn't do. The Army considered him AWOL, but he says the severe injuries he suffered while fighting caused him to forget who he was. News 8's Aaron Logan live in News 8 Control with more on a brand new lawsuit filed to get him the care he deserves. Aaron. Keith Ann, that lawsuit was filed today. 64-year-old William Dolphin is a decorated veteran awarded a Purple Heart after being wounded in an explosion. Now over 40 years later, he says the physical and mental pain has gotten worse. That's because the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs is denying him medical care. Now he and his wife are struggling financially. His lawyer at Yale Law School tells News 8 Dolphin went to a hospital in Queens, New York after his injuries in 1968 that left him temporarily paralyzed. He says the hospital sent him home, but years later he was arrested at his home in Connecticut and charged with being absent without leave. So Mr. Dolphin believes he was sent home from the military hospital on convalescent leave. He certainly didn't think he was AWOL. Um, he said the military knew how to get in contact with him. And yet, you know, several years after he was sent home from the hospital, the FBI came and picked him up and the Army gave him a bad conduct discharge. And they won't and now, listen to him. Yeah, and now he can't get VA medical care. So the goal is to get the Army to upgrade Dolphin's discharge status so he can get medical care. We reached out to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, and all they would say is we don't discuss ongoing litigation. Live in News 8 Control, Aaron Logan, back to you in the studio.